Hi guys, this is Mike and this will be a quick review of this camera dolly or uh, dolly skater they call it. This one is by the company Agit, I guess you pronounce it, but you can buy these, uh, you know, online from all different brands, all different sizes. I got a pretty uh, basic one, a pretty cheap one. So first of all, uh, what was in the box? Well, actually, not much. Just really the dolly skater here. And the construction is fairly simple, but pretty sturdy, I have to admit. So it's basically a base plate that is made out of metal. We have two axes with the four wheels on them. We have the connecting screw. And on this model, we also have these scales here, which in theory, uh, would show you the angle of your axis. The problem with that is we have no markings on the axis themselves so basically these are useless, right? And so uh, without spoiling anything I already uh, shot some samples yesterday and I had a pretty hard time actually adjusting these so that uh, the card would go perfectly straight, right? Because you know the smallest tilt to left or to the right would change the direction of the car. Uh, basically that is true if you want to make long uh, dolly shots which I plan to do for a short movie. Uh, if you just plan to like move the camera slowly for like you know f uh, 10 inches or something maybe that won't be as important but if you plan to do uh, wide dolly shots then I would highly suggest picking a model that does not have these adjustable axes because it's really a pain in the you-know-what. The next pain in the you-know-what was with the connecting screw here. Uh, as you might see, this is a one-fourth of an inch screw, which in my opinion is an outdated uh, norm. Uh, and so, I mean, I was using this tripod head, which has a three-eighth of, uh, of an inch uh, hole, right? So I had to buy like adapter rings for that which was I, I mean I think it's like five bucks on Amazon and there are six pieces so I mean you can always use those so that's okay but I still don't know why they didn't include that in the box right um, yeah so these were my first impressions basically now let's look at some uh, video samples that I shot and I have to tell you I shot a couple of them well I tried at least and I shot them on my ground here on my living room floor, which of course isn't a perfect even uh, glassy surface or something, but it's pretty even. Uh, it's a new floor, it's two years old, it doesn't have a lot of scratches in it or something. Uh, yeah, but you will see the results, uh, which are not great, spoiler alert. And I think one of the reasons is, oh yeah, another thing that I have to had to do before I uh, actually did anything with this card, this, the wheels here, I think that's due to production, due to the production process, because plastic is usually molded in forms and then cut out. Uh, this thing had like the small areas of plastics, uh, plastic parts, right? So I had to take, take sandpaper, you can see here, and I basically had to remove them so it would be even, because otherwise we would have like movements in the wheels, right? Um, what I also did after the first uh, couple of trials is to take like uh, a self-adhesing um, tape, which is a cloth tape, which you can use for furniture, and I put them on the wheels. And yeah, let's check out if that helped anything at all. Um, I did a couple of samples. My camera is the GH6, which has uh, built-in in-body stabilization. So I made a couple of shots without any stabilization, and then the different kinds of stabilization added on. Uh, and yeah, let's just look at the video samples and you'll see if this thing is any good actually. Right, so the first shot I made was without any stabilization. Uh, I was quite enthusiastic at the beginning, so I made a very wide shot. Uh, but as you can see, it's totally useless, very nervous, very shaky. Um, the second test shot was with the uh, stabilization on the GH6 turned on. So. I mean, the small micro jitters are gone, but it's still 
I mean, very shaky. The third test was with the stabilization plus the electronic uh, stabilization turned on. So uh, the camera actually zooms in a little bit to have uh, play here, but it's still useless. With a boost image stabilization, it's more uh, like I imagined it uh, would look like from the get-go, but we still have the going to the left and right. Then I turned on even the anamorphic stabilization because this is a uh, anamorphic lens. But yeah, next up I put the cloth tape on the wheels and have everything turned on. Uh, but it's not getting really like better. It's totally luck dependent, right? Uh, I was getting frustrated here and it was just basically uh, moving the cart uh, to the fore, uh, back and forth, like, and really, like, um, throwing it to Pennywise in Pennywise direction. Um, yeah, so this is with everything turned on, with cloth tape on the wheels. So, basically, you know, my main concern with this thing is it's very shaky, and also it's, um, the direction stuff is very annoying because it never goes straight ahead. So as I mentioned before in the intro, if you like um, do small dolly shots with this thing, then I guess it could be okay. But for uh, longer shots, I don't really, I can't recommend it. And I checked online, maybe it was my fault, maybe it was user error, but I checked online for uh, reviews on Amazon. And yeah, they are not better and people are experiencing basically the same thing as I experienced. And so, yeah, I can't really recommend it. Um, unfortunately, maybe if you... I think the main problem is the movement of the wheels because they're not like 100% uh, fixed to the axle. So they keep, uh, you know, tilting to the left and right. Um, that's basically due to construction. And I also think that for really steady uh, dolly shots, you need way bigger wheels than that. Um, having said that, if you just want to record small movements back and forth, then I guess this could be okay. But for wider stuff or stuff on uh, uneven surfaces, I'm not recommending it. Okay, guys, so that was basically my review. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.